What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, how many products you should test and why. Uh, so I do get this question quite a bit and yeah, I mean, it's kind of a simple question. I mean, this video is not gonna be very long, but I just kind of wanna get this out there so I can refer to this video um, for the questions that I do get for it. So what I recommend is to not kind of not overdo yourself. Don't try to test like 15 products at the same time or 10 products at the same time. Um, the way I kind of do things, the way I like to do things, the way I teach things is to focus on one product. Like do extensive product research first and then you know tackle that product. So do a lot of the back end instead of like, so either you can do a lot of back end, right? Or just go and find a bunch of products and not really do much research on it and test all those products. But you'd be spending a lot of money testing all those products at once or you can put time instead of money into going and finding those products and then you know once you find one or two really good ones that have potential um, and there's a lot to really cut that, that I look for when I when I find products which I can go over but yeah so you so you can go and look fi find uh, one or two products that have a lot of potential and then test those thoroughly so test like I, I'd rather test one or two products um, I'd rather test one or two products the same amount that I would test 15 products so I'd rather have the same amount of ad sets for one or two products than the same amount that I would when I was, if I were to test 15 products at the exact same time. Um, you know, so really in short, what I, re what I recommend doing is, you know, at the very most, I would recommend two products to test two products at the same time. Um, I always just do one product, I'll pick one product and I'll test it. I'll test it for about anywhere from, I would say about four to five days on average. Uh, if I'm losing like $250, $300, um, that's when I'll pause it. So I, I won't really go past that. If I don't like, I mean, usually I can tell, I've been doing it for a while, so I can tell if a product has potential or not. If it doesn't, then I just won't continue with it and I'll move on. But most of the time, like, I mean, my, my like win-loss ratio for products is pretty high because I do a lot of back-end research. I don't just jump into a product. I won't test a bunch of products that I don't see any value in just because I want to test products just because people say to test 10 products. That's not the case. And that's not what, that's not what I recommend doing. And I guess we can touch on real fast like when you should maybe pause pause an ad or scale an ad or scale a product, pause a product or scale a product. Um, Cause I do get that quite a bit, kind of same thing in a way, like same topic. Um, as far as killing ad, I just kind of touched that. If I'm down about $350, I would say about $350 to $400 is when I'll pause the product. So even if I'm getting sales, that's that's not like if I just like spend 400 bucks and I don't get any sales and that's why I move on. I could still be getting sales. Like say, say I have like $2,000 in sales for that product, but I've spent, you know, maybe 2,500 bucks in ads. Then that's that product is just simply not scalable. It's not worth continuing. And you want a product that's worth, that, that can be scaled. Um, so if I'm down, if I like, if I'm in the hole about four hundred dollars, about three to four hundred dollars total, like even if I have thousand dollars in sales, then I won't continue that product. I'll move on. Um, scale scalability. I all I look for in the beginning is breaking even. That's literally all I look for is breaking even. Um, if I'm breaking even within the first like one week, a week and a half, then that's something I will continue with. And I'll just keep trying to, you know, keep testing it. I guess. Um, but I mean, really, what you can do is like. All I want to do is break even until I have enough data for look likes. Once I start getting the look likes, that's when the profits start to roll in. Um, so I don't care about breaking even. I'll definitely continue to sell the product if I'm breaking even. Even losing a tiny bit, like if I'm down like 50 bucks, but I still have like $3,000 in sales, that's fine. Then I'll start doing look likes, and that, that's when it should start being profitable. It's not all the time. It's not 100% guaranteed that once you get to look likes, those will be profitable. Sometimes look likes aren't profitable. They won't even get you sales. Um, you may be jumping in too early, but I mean that can be a whole other video. I can talk about. I'll probably, the next video I'll probably talk about is custom look like audiences and how they're so important, um, retargeting that kind of stuff that you can do with all of them. But anyway, that's kind of the rule of thumb. If I'm down about three to $400, then yes, I will pause, uh, I'll pause the product and move on to another one, but I won't be tested. Cause like if you were gonna test, you know, if you were gonna test 15 products, uh, 20 products at the same time, which I've seen people say to do, um, there's no way you'd be able, I mean, obviously you could, but there, it'd be very hard to go ahead and like test that product thoroughly. Like if I was following my rule of thumb, I'd be down like, you know, thousands of dollars if I was doing that. So I really don't recommend testing a bunch of products at once. I definitely recommend to do your, do your research, find out if the product is actually selling, if it has potential and go for that product and just like specifically test that one product. And then, you know, if, that not, if that's not a winner, no worries, just test another one, do a bunch of research. Um, 
that shows the product has potential and that actually is it's worth running ads for. So again, this video wasn't too long. I just want to kind of throw this out there so it is out there for people to see. So if I get this question in my you know Instagram DMs or whatever, I can just refer to this video. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please message me on Instagram or post in the comments or shoot me an email. Anyone's fine, I'll definitely get back to it. Um, I have hundreds of DMs to go through, but I do try to get through every single one. Usually I answer DMs for about, I would say about three hours a day. I'm going through DMs, emails, messages, everything. Um, so I definitely will get to you eventually. So just shoot me a message on Instagram and yeah, I'd love to help you out. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to the channel so you're you know up to date for future videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.